Demographic shifts in our population are creating an acute labor shortage for manufacturers who use manual processes to produce their products. For instance, the American Welding Society estimates that by 2020, the United States will have a shortage of 290,000 welders. Businesses who utilize welding in their manufacturing processes are already experiencing the challenges associated with this shortage. To look at it another way, in 1940, 5% of the U.S. population went to college and earned a college degree. Today, that number has grown to 39% and is expected to surpass 50% within the next 10 years. And for the most part, these college graduates are unavailable for manual labor factory jobs. During that same period of time, the U.S. GDP grew 14 times while the population increased only 2.5 times. This would imply that today's manufacturers have had to increase the productivity of each available factory worker to nine times that of the factory workers of the 1940s. And that productivity will need to more than double within the next 10 years if the U.S. economy is to grow as expected. To achieve this, manufacturers must begin automating manual tasks now and redeploy their available workforce to tasks best suited for human beings. The challenge we face is that most manufacturing is still low-volume, high-mix processes that are nearly impossible to cost-effectively automate with traditional robotic work cells. Lean Robotics was written to help manufacturers overcome these challenges by employing lean manufacturing techniques to robotic work cells and by taking advantage of collaborative robotic technology now available. Lean Robotics was written to address the challenges manufacturers face as they move toward replacing manual processes with automated robotic work cells. These challenges are significant enough to have prevented most manufacturing processes from being automated, to the extent that here at the early part of the 21st century, we find that most manufacturing tasks are still performed by humans. The reasons for this are complexity of the robotic cell, the high cost of the robotic cell, Manufacturers lack the skill set necessary to deploy robots without outside help. Most manufacturing processes were developed for human beings, not robots. Robots have evolved to suit high volume, low mix processes. Lack of standards in the robotics industry. These challenges are made simpler by following the precepts found in Lean Robotics. Lean Robotics is a set of principles developed by Robotique CEO Samuel Bouchard. In his book, Sam and his team lay out an efficient and cost-effective method to deploy robots in factories with the goal of achieving a quick return on investment to the manufacturer. Lean Robotics uses the lean manufacturing concepts of customer value, value creation chain, waste elimination, and continuous improvement. And as with lean manufacturing and agile programming, Lean Robotics is an iterative, bottom-up mythology. The three main phases of the Lean Robotics deployment cycle are The design phase includes all the tasks needed to go from the manual process to having the plan and materials for the robotic cell. The integrate phase consists of putting the pieces of the robotic cell together, programming it, and installing the cell on the production line. The operate phase represents the end goal of development, that is, having a productive robot that does its job properly and consistently, freeing up time for its human operator. Once the robotic cell is up to speed, it's time to celebrate. You have begun your journey into the 21st century of manufacturing.